Endometriosis is a diagnosis that is made through surgery. When we look inside a woman's body and we're able to see lining of the uterus, which is supposed to be in the uterus, now outside the uterus. That lining will cycle just like the uterine lining cycles for a woman who goes through regular menstrual cycles. So during ovulation, it will get inflamed, and during menstruation, it will actually bleed inside of you. That causes pain. And so many women with endometriosis experience pain. It may be cyclic, but it also may just be all throughout the month. It may be when you have intercourse, or when you have a bowel movement, or maybe even when you urinate. So women with endometriosis can have pain. But women with endometriosis can also not know they have it. There are some people who have no pain at all, and their endometriosis may be diagnosed because they have infertility. So endometriosis is associated with infertility, and it's important to see a reproductive endocrinologist so that they can talk to you about some of the options to help with infertility-related endometriosis. Sometimes these options may involve surgery, especially if you have pain or large cysts, sometimes called chocolate cysts that they can see on ultrasound. And so this might be a clue to a gynecologist that you have endometriosis. And surgery can help, especially with the pain. But if your primary problem is infertility, oftentimes you don't need surgery. Oftentimes what you need is some help in getting pregnant. You might need some dietary changes, some vitamins. We might start in a very holistic approach to help you with your endometriosis. But then we might want to get a little more aggressive because you might really be wanting to have a baby now. And for that, we often will recommend fertility treatment. It doesn't always start with IVF or what would be considered the most aggressive for some people. Oftentimes it may start with some simple pills or shots. Um, but oftentimes, if we feel like you're not getting pregnant at the speed with which you want, we may decide to recommend IVF. And IVF can be a great treatment for people with endometriosis-associated infertility. What it does is it takes the eggs out of the body, gets them out of that inflammation that's there, that's caused from endometriosis, allows us to fertilize them, make healthy embryos, and then safely transfer them back into your uterus, avoiding the tubes, the fallopian tubes, which sometimes can be affected by endometriosis. So IVF is a great treatment for you if you have infertility related to endometriosis. Endometriosis can also cause some effect on the egg quality and quantity. So you can't wait too long. You need to have it addressed sooner rather than later. You need to know what your options are, even if you're not ready to have a family right now. Your doctor can talk about ways to prevent endometriosis from growing and becoming a problem, and can even talk about ways to preserve your fertility for the future if you have endometriosis.